Well, I think that there's uh, I, I think that there's a lot of interest. You know, the the funny thing for me is that um, when I hear people talking about the the last billion, um, uh, it's uh, it's it's commercial companies, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Right? Now, on on one hand, um, it's definitely true that that. A commercial expansion of technology will be the thing that will connect those people. On the other hand, it's 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 odd to think that um, that large companies are already seeing that as this 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 potentially lucrative market. I think the two things I'm, I I, I want to make sure is that we saw a period of time, and I'm hoping it's ebbing away now where um, smartphones, phones obviously, mobile phones obviously lead this, this connection thing. And there was a time a few years ago where it turned out that the amount of money that um, uh, the poorest, who could still, still affluent enough to get a, a, a phone connection, were actually spending like this similar amounts to the amount of money they spent on rent, on, on connectivity, and that's because they understood how important it was. They understood how important it was for their their their, their life, um, and um, they were willing to put aside that sort of money. But that that uh, the cost of connectivity should be plummeting, and they shouldn't be having to pay that amount of money. So um, I think that that slowly got reduced through competition um, and perhaps government government involvement too. Um, but I, 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 that's the thing I really worry about. It's not the idea that there's a billion people out here who don't know the potential of, um, of, of, of really pervasive connectivity. It's that they do, they can afford it, but they end up giving up, uh, essentially creating a new landlord class of sort of feudal data overlords who, who are reaping all of this money from them.